assuming we'll be able to get a golden age um, with this courser he can actually come there and then we will start attacking the city of ruen next turn catapults are much much stronger than the war well not much stronger but warriors can't hold a candle to catapults i should not have done that because that's a shit ton of barbarians um yeah everybody else just move east there is nothing going on in the west uh, this guy's actually going to stay here and sort of defend these cities, even though they don't really need defense. Um, city range attack. We'll go next turn. Uh, okay, there's astronomy. Very good. Colonialism. Um, the Great Library isn't really needed. We already have most of the text from... Yeah, we actually have almost all the text, except for, like, shipbuilding. Um, hanging gardens wouldn't be bad. Nah, I need the workshop. Gotta get industrial zones. Or gotta get, um, factories, which will allow us to get oil, which will allow us to get artillery, which will allow us to conquer the world. Uh, you are struggling to grow. We gotta get a builder out. Yes, for sure. Um, over here in Cairo, um, Machu Picchu, Petra, hanging... We'll get hanging gardens in Cairo. Hanging gardens increases our growth rate which will just increase all our yields, which is very, very good for us. Um, oh, I forgot he gets 10 combat strength against me. Don't know how I'm getting 8 experience per turn, though. That doesn't make very much sense. Um, Bombard's going to get there very soon, though. Um, yeah, you move up there. You move up there. You guys move into position, and then next turn we'll be able to attack. Actually, you get a promotion. There we go. Uh, start attacking the city of Ruen. Uh, you spend a turn to heal, although are there crossbowmen here? Yeah, there are. You move there so you get attacked and you can get promoted. Um, step back and fire just right between the eyes like that. Absolutely massacre him. And there's mercenaries. 50% uh, gold on unit upgrades. That is what I wanted. Making enough gold per turn. I need a professional army right now. Did lose 10 gold per turn, but we are going to make that up with much cheaper upgrade costs. Instead of 320, this guy will be about 160 to upgrade. Step back and just fire on the swordsmen. They can't do anything to you. Medieval fairies, uh, no. We want... Colony... We want the Merchant Republic. Exploration, okay. And this is a continents map. Almost certain, to be honest. Uh, I guess you can attack and take the city. Uh, we'll keep that city. Six turns... Victor will help. This does look to be a continent's map, so I'm going to have to start uh, building a navy. It's going to be tough because England is in this game. Um, we do have the city attack, so not too worried about these crossbowmen. We'll repair the granary. Uh, loyalty is fine. And take in France is in a golden age, so I guess that didn't help at all. Um, we'll buy that tile. Build a commercial hub because money. We'll chop that and make a mine. And production-wise in this city, we will get a granary for housing. We'll get some nice cocoa. All right, suzerain time. Um, Buenos Aires is actually suzerain of Coupe. That's that's surprising. Um, I do want suzerainship of Kumasai, though, for sure. And over here, we can always chop and... I was going to build a mine, but you don't have enough movement points for that. You stay there and defend. We don't exactly need you. And everybody else get prepared to take out, uh, what's his face? I forget what his name was. 160 to upgrade. I don't have any iron, though. That's the problem. So you move up there, and that's a crossbowman. Okay. Um. Okay, move up one. Move up one. Just ignore that warrior. He's not going to do anything. There we go. Although you probably die now. It's, I stole you. It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, Medina's gonna be an absolute dog shit city, growth-wise, and eventually everything else. Um, here we're just gonna build some farms, get some growth going. Here in Mecca, a nice builder would help, uh, infrastructure. And, we'll improve board shows population. You stay here, stay fortified. Promotion-wise, I guess we can upgrade the crossbowmen, um, placement, obviously. Here, you just stay fortified, you fortify, you can upgrade, I think, right? Yes urban warfare and then we could just do massive amounts of damage to that dude and 315 to upgrade to our ah oh, we can't upgrade them to bombards then anyway we are going to get artillery in about um no more than 20 turns i think uh what do you what's your thing again i haven't seen you haven't been relevant since the base game 
Uh, sun never sets, likes sieves from her home continent. Okay, that's why. Um, okay, we want production. So lumber mill and then a mine would be nice. And this is a really good city, city so we I can start building some districts here. Um, if we could get an industrial zone, because remember, we do need a lot of production, because we're going so fast through the eras. Um, we are going to need some bonuses. Uh, we'll get thrust, because it's mostly melee units. Take out that horseman. Uh, you stay fortified. And then over here, obviously, we can just, like, look at this. Boom. Bam. Bop. And we do need three musketmen so we can get the infantry unique unit. And since it's a continents map, um, we're going to need shipbuilding. So we'll get that right after musketmen. We'll build three musketmen, get some infantry, get some artillery, and then we'll move on and take out the other continent while they still have musketmen. So, um, you're actually going to move out of the way so this crossbowman can get ready to fire. Um, you're actually a bombard, so I'm fine with you attacking. Uh, you stay fortified. You can chop into a mine, and then you can skip your turn. Then this crossbowman can come down here and wipe out the rest of France's military. Okay, I think building a second army to go take out Coupe, and then using this army to cross the channel. I think that's a very good idea. Okay, they do have walls though, so it will be kind of difficult. Uh, 15 turns, we're going to have to deal with this very soon. Um, okay, let's be smart about this, nothing stupid. Okay, you're going to attack him. You're going to move up there. You're going to hit him. Yeah, loyalty-wise, we're going to struggle just a bit. Uh, we do have a Bombard, though, so maybe not as much as I think we will. Uh, yeah, just move up, attack the Slingers, stay fortified, and you stay fortified as well. Move in the Pike and Shot, uh, Lumber Mill time. Or Joe can completely wipe out the remnants of that Catapult, and boom. Production-wise, we are looking great all across the board. What an empire we've created. Uh, 1,000 Year Flood didn't kill anybody, so we're fine. We can now start building musketmen, so we will do that soon. Uh, we're going to need coal power plants, though, to get oil. Okay. Um, this builder can come over there. This guy can get a farm. This dude can... I guess he could get a farm as well. Move the pike and tree. He's going to get hit, but I doubt that's going to do a lot of damage to him. Loyalty-wise, we're on a timer. We got 14 turns. Okay. Um, Bombard, you still don't do a lot of damage, so we'll do that. You stay fortified, and next turn we'll begin the Grand Assault. Uh, okay, this crossbowman can probably single-handedly take out that encampment, so we're going to move this guy down south. I didn't see that. Okay, well, we just lost a future potential knight. Probably not the best idea I've ever had, but meh. Doesn't really matter. Turn 113, and we are in the modern era, I think, right? I hope so. <laughs> We're almost definitely in the modern era. Um, Car Car, get me some musketmen. Yeah. The good thing is, we can focus on gold, so we can upgrade the musketmen and all these catapults into artillery and infantry. By about turn 150, we should be able to attack everybody else with, again, infantry and artillery. Um, they just keep moving in the crossbows, and we just keep wiping them out. So we'll continue to do that. Um, you move in there. There's Paris. Uh, there we go. So, everybody just start moving up. Actually want you up there. Um, there's the city of Embrua. Uh, we're gonna move, we're gonna focus on Paris first. Poor population in Paris. Oh my god, that's going to suck for loyalty. I did not see that. I can't lie. Uh, skip your turn. It's fine. Some of these cities might rebel, but we are going to take out France. I guarantee that. You're going to have to back up, man. Uh, there is the encampment. Got promotion as well very soon. Um, when can I upgrade these guys? Mm, I can't. Not until oil. Got a nice commercial hub because we do need money more than anything else. Um, this builder can build a mine. Nice. 
Um, you can get this unique district or whatever it is. It's just more science. And you can attack. Stay fortified. Um, yeah, Paris falls in like probably this turn, honestly. No. Okay, what we're going to do here is crossbowman, attack him, catapult, attack him. Uh, we're going to switch you to... Okay, I guess you can move there, and then you can come here, and then you can come here. Loyalty-wise, 10 turns, not too bad. You take out that crossbowman, actually. And then we can focus on taking out the city of Amber because that city has to go very fast. Um, attack the crossbow. Attack the spearmen. We'll go next turn. I want to take these two cities at about the same time for sure. There's Hanging Gardens, so our food will go up very, very fast. We'll get a commercial hub in this city because we do need the money. Um, instead of ship, well, after shipbuilding, we will go for 28 turns for refining. We're going to do that. It's 28 turns, but I feel like I can get refining before I can get two coal power plants. And that also allows us to just focus on getting as much money as possible. Upgrade three musketmen and three catapults, and after that, it's just game over. It's just going to be, it's just like the one tank challenge I had. Um, it's just going to be incredible, and we can actually upgrade this guy to a musketman, so all we have to do is build one more musketman, and then we should be fine. You move up. Um, you actually stay fortified. Uh, it sucks that this is all rough terrain, right? Is that rough terrain? It is rough terrain. All right, so we're going to have to focus on taking some of these dudes out. Uh, we can focus on taking out Paris in the meantime, though. Damn, loyalty's going to suck in Paris. Um, Four turns, yeah, it's, it's, I thought that. So we do have to take out Ambrois very, very fast. Stay fortified. Catapults, you can move there. That city should be more or less better, though. We don't have to worry about that rebelling anytime soon. There, hit him. Next turn, promotion on the crossbow. And England does not like us. Um, I don't care. There's one other Civ we haven't met. Would really like to meet him and steal all his lands. Uh, it's going to be production. Let's see if we can get both. It was both somehow. I'll take it. Industrialization just got boosted. That is great. We can start building factories and increasing our productivity. Uh, Production-wise, uh, here you're going to build... Uh, nope, not industrial zone. You're going to build a commercial hub because money. And over here, same exact thing. You're going to build a commercial hub because money. And a governor title. We will give you connoisseur. Ah, I should have went the great people one so I could get great people faster. But anyway, three coal per turn. Um, that was the only coal we had in our empire, it looks like. Uh, okay, we have to take this city in four turns. You move up there, you move up there. You move there, you can pillage. You move there, and then you can attack. Damn, how does he have 42 combat strength? It's stu- oh. I have minus two from the emergency. It makes sense, I suppose. Uh, we'll move the Bombard, move the Catapult, take care of him, take care of him, take care of him. Uh, okay, we can definitely take the city in three turns, for sure. Chop that, uh, build a lumber mill over there. Uh, you stay fortified. Uh, I guess you can keep attacking, Mr. Crossbowman. Ooh, they're starting to get some knights now. We, we gotta be careful. Gotta start taking the city out very fast. And there we go, we won the emergency. Um, so we do get two combat strength against France. Uh, yeah. Okay, you move there. You move there and attack him, and then you can wipe him out. And then we can move the Bombard up. And Ambrois, 51 combat strength. Holy damn. Uh, good news is we do have a musketman coming, so that's fine. Okay. Take him out. Golden Age wise, we probably get a Golden Age, although it's not a slam dunk. Uh, chop that to get a faster commercial hub. Um, over here, you can build a mine and then chop some rainforests. Let's just get started on the Siege of Ambrois. I'm not making peace with you. Uh, I'll lose these two cities if I do, and I kind of need them right now. Uh, but yeah, it should be fine. Can we take out the Swordsman this turn? Be able to take him out next turn, so we'll crossbow the Swordsman. Uh, then move him there, and then that will allow the musketman to make it through. 
You know what? Just move there. Move there. Boom, musket then. Uh, oof. City's gonna rebel. We failed. Um, shouldn't be too hard to retake, though. Okay. Um, let's start building some factories. Do we have another musketman coming? No, we need another musketman. Uh, okay, so build one last musketman. Uh, this dude is actually going to move... Coupe is going to be hard to take out. Not hard to take out, but just like... I think Coupe should be the last dude we take. Well, I'm going to build a separate army to take out Coupe. That's what we're going to do. I don't want to have to move all these units back west. Uh, man, I can't believe that this is not a Pangea map. Absolutely messed up the beginning of this game. City survived somehow for another turn. Oh, we don't even have a governor in that city, do we? So if we do that... And if we do that... Two turns? Yes. So then the city definitely dies. Actually, never mind. It might not. Ah, oh, this guy got a promotion. That's really not good. Um, everybody just focus on attacking the city. How's your loyalty? Two turns? There's still one turn. Um, did I, we take it this turn? But I was never very good at math there. Oh, never mind. I thought we took it. Ah, oh, we're going to have to deal with the rebellion. Oh, well. Okay, we're going to be able to build a wonder. And Isaac Newton. There we go. Where are these guys? All right, Isaac Newton. Give me some more science per turn. And this dude, uh, wonder production. What wonders can I build? What wonders would help this game? Nothing really to become quite honest. A wild card policy slot. That is always good. Okay, move there and just push. And you can have one more charge. Um, over here, we'll get out a... We gotta start getting out some more units. Get a crossbowman. Over here, though, we can get a trader unit. And let's focus on just improving everything. Give me a mine. Um, city, yeah, that city's gone. Fortified, um, build a mine, and boom, we'll move the crossbowman down south right after we take out, fuck, oh, it doesn't matter. We'll still be able to take that city right now. Did lose a courser, so that kind of sucks. Um, just gonna want to whittle this city down, and then we can just walk in with the musketmen. There is France, absolutely gone. More era score, which absolutely ensures our golden age. Um, okay, this city, oh my god, it has walls. Okay. So it is losing loyalty. Suppose you can put Victor in Rouen. Oh, Rouen's already positive, it's fine. Uh, over here, we're going to chop that, and over here, we're going to chop that. Nice. You keep moving up. Um, more wonder construction. I'll take it. That is not very good. Oh, never mind. Kill him. There's an actual wonder we can settle, but I don't really need too much more faith. Okay. Do heroes get more combat strength the later the arrows go on? I think it's every time they get bought. That's probably it. Um, we just got to get this bombard in position. Stay fortified. Oh, uh, we're going to need this musketman very soon. Move up. There. There. Just unit moving at this point. Okay. Chop, chop. Uh, fortify. Actually, no. We'll upgrade you to a musketman so that we get replaceable parts. Now all we need is refining, which we'll get in 18 turns. Get some oil, upgrade some dudes, and then we'll be able to conquer the world. Stay fortified. We'll go next turn. Um, man, I wish Paris just... 52 turns, Rebellion. That's not going to cut it. You move back and promote. We can't afford to lose you. Uh, you're going to move here and heal. We're going to attack the Musketman. That's absolutely destroying us. Uh, you're going to have to back up. You move up there. You move... Fine if I lose the Courser, to be honest. Uh, here in Rouen, we will get... Um, Monument, I guess. I don't know. Here in Mario, we will get a builder. Sorry, not a granary. 
here in Mecca, we will also get a builder. Send an envoy. We're making 31 gold per turn. That is not enough. Uh, yeah, you are going to have to... You build a trader. No, you can't. Uh, build a market. That's what I wanted you to do. Over here, we'll get Susurinity of Kumasai. And we'll get a nice mine over here. And over here, you just keep moving down south next turn. 